Howdy partner. So you want to learn how to install Lumery permanent outdoor eve lights? Well here in luck I'm going to show you today. Today we're going to walk you through a how-to installation of these permanent outdoor eve lights. These LED lights are really really cool because they have an app and you can control them and go ahead and make them all different colors so you can pick patterns and sequences and these stay up year round. So we'll show you how to attach them but when they go up there you can have them in you know, red, white, and blue for 4th of July, and then green and red for Christmas, and, and white for St. Patrick's Day, whatever you wanna do. You got plenty of options. So we're gonna hang along the eave, they go up underneath the eave, and you can barely see them, they're pretty much invisible during the day for most of the year, but then when you turn them on at night, they also can make just a nice white ambiance or yellow ambiance to just be like normal down lighting for your house. Never uh, have used the Lumery before, but they did sponsor this video and sent us this pack, so we will tell you what we think and how they work out, and again, we'll walk step by step by step, through this whole phase so stay tuned let me show you before we get started on the uh the luminary packaging is really really nice this is what we hope the house to look like when it's done but it talks about all the features that it has 16 million colors voice control all sorts of cool stuff and when you open it up it says this pack is 118 feet so with 78 lights this is a long light pack and then again nice good quality it comes in three separate boxes and the lights are going to connect together so they have instructions in here, and then the lights are nicely packaged and bound, and they're all there. Also included in the kit is these attachments, which is a combination of some 3M tape that sticks on, just like the lights, as well as these little nails that you can go ahead and nail underneath the eaves, depending on what your material is. So we've got some various materials to use to get it all attached. Also, you wanna get that Lumery app, and the Lumery app will show you a little later on. Now, one thing before you start your project, be sure to plug it in, plug in the wall, make sure it does turn on and it works because if for some reason there's an issue, you don't want to do that after you hang it all up. So we've tested it. They do all work. Now we're going to get started with the project. Stay tuned. Before you get started, be sure to lay out your lights and figure out where they're going to go and make sure you have them in the right direction. At the end of your strand, you're going to have this cap. So make sure that cap is where you want to end at. And then all the connections just go together with these screw on wire type connectors. Feels pretty good quality. Uh, very impressed so far. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and install them. And you can see to install these um, LED lights, they have 3M tape on the back. And this tape is really sticky. Let me tell you, once it's on there, you, pretty much re you can't reposition it. So make sure you get a good spot. What we're going to do is we're gonna find out how far we want the next one to go. You wanna make sure you have a good surface and then we took this rag and we put a little bit of rubbing alcohol in this rag. And we just want to make sure we're putting on a really clean surface. So depending on if you have wood soffits or vinyl, this is vinyl or anything else, you can definitely use those different clips and nails that we're going to show you. But you can also just stick it directly on here. And I'm putting a little bit of slack for two reasons. You're going to count the tin once it's up here. The first reason for the slack is because we're going to tuck away the wires. And then the second reason is because if I pull it tight, these lights are ending up between these two and you're not getting a good surface for it to adhere to. So what's nice about tucking it up if you can is that now there's no weight really going on the light other than the light itself and it's super sticky. So it should hold there the whole time and if for some reason one started to come down, it would then hang from these two wires and won't pull down the other lights. So this gets to going pretty fast. You just keep going and sticking them on. You wanna keep them about a foot off the wall so that you get a good reflective light. Don't put them right up on the wall. And in just a few minutes, we'll be done, be able to show you how it works. Check out this part. We're gonna show you how those clips work, both the nails and the stickers. These small nail clips that we showed you earlier. If you're gonna be putting this into an area of wood, or in this case, thin stucco, you can kind of take this clip here and you wanna fit it over the wire and it will sort of self hang depending on how you do it. I'm trying to do this one handed, but you get it there hanging and then what you want to do is take your hammer and just tap it in. And now we have a really good grip on a horizontal. That tape is really, really sticky, but that'll go ahead and hold it in case the tape ever fails. The other option you have besides the little nail are these clips that have the 3M tape on the back. So you're gonna go ahead and remove that really sticky tape and then you can clip it on underneath and you can push it on up, hold it for just a second, and that'll also keep it nice and neat. 
right, well, as you can see, we've got these all set up and they look nice. I really like tucking that line in the uh, cord, but you could also go ahead and just attach it up. Now you may have a tricky point to where you've got to connect like here, so you ran across the middle. But the neat thing with this set is you can change each individual light. So we can really make those accent lights or we can turn them off, we can do whatever we want to do. Try to get nice continuous coverage. And that's what's nice about this, no matter what eaves you have at your house, you can make this work. So we're gonna go ahead, get that Lumen Reapp installed, and then we will go ahead and turn it on and see how it looks at night. So far, very impressed this product. Seems well built, goes together fast, great stickiness on everything, great little attachments. So, so far, two thumbs up. Let's check out at night and we'll show you how it really looks. Well, we've got it all synced up to the Lumen Reapp. Now it's dark and we're gonna show you how these lights work. Right now we got set on an orange setting but you can pick individual colors. So let's say we wanna go all white, we can go all white. We can also turn off individual lights, like those ones over the door there. We can go ahead and hit here and we can turn off just a few there if we want to. So it's pretty versatile. And what's really neat are the different scenes. So if we wanna go something like the dazzle, you can check it out and see that we're really dazzling everything out here. There's also gonna be holiday themes, you can go with chasing where they're running different colors. It's a pretty neat app. You can set on timers. So you set off to go on and off at certain times each day, different scenes. Again, you can change all these different, uh, uh, pretty much anything you want to do. You can do it in here. You can also go ahead and say, okay, I want this to be in a holiday look. So we're going to go to green like Santa Claus and maybe we want to mix in a few red ones. So we go ahead and hit some red ones. And without even looking behind my shoulder, I can tell you that now we've got a very Christmassy house. That is awesome. And along with being awesome as Christmas, you can go ahead and make the colors change. So in the app, you can have it function to where you've got these really neat running lights. Or you can go back to the white and just have a nice accent lighting every day of the year. One of my personal favorites is the red, white, and blue. It's really patriotic and it really helps to show off that house. Now you can change the colors, you can have them running and streaming and more uh, you know, functional, and it really is vibrant, pretty neat. But if you don't wanna go just pure patriotic, you've got all sorts of colors for anything you can imagine on a rainbow. The app is really functional. You can go from these colorful lights to just kind of a normal hue of white every day of the year or a yellow or however you wanna do it to go ahead and add some instant accent lighting that can be changed throughout the year. So it's permanent, so that's pretty nice. And again, we wanna show you, we can make it really colorful. It can be a party and say, hey, come on over, look at my lights, these are awesome. Hope you like this, it's pretty cool. All right, thanks for tuning in Mr. Gray's How To. Hope this was helpful. We'll, we'll put a link in the description for the Lumery lights. Be sure to like, comment, most point, subscribe. And remember, easy install, if I can do it, you can too. Thanks for watching.